Snow day! Ugh. RJ, watch it! Sorry, I'm a little excited for our random day off. I can't believe there was a snowstorm. It just came out of nowhere. The snow didn't just come from nowhere. A cold front moved in. A what? A cold front. A front is the boundary where two air masses clash, and weather, like snow, occurs. There are warm and cold fronts. I'll demonstrate. No, don't! Just tell me! I'm not gonna throw it at you. Listen, you know what an air mass is, right? Uh, a big massive blob of air? Kinda. An air mass is a large body of air that has the same temperature and moisture level throughout. There are four different types of air masses in the United States, and each one carries its own temperature and amount of moisture. So what are their names? Well, two are cold and two are warm. The two cold air masses are the maritime polar air mass and the continental polar air mass. What about the two warm air masses? The two warm air masses are called the maritime tropical air mass and the continental tropical air mass. So which ones can I thank for the snow day? It snowed because one of the cold air masses clashed with a warm one and made a cold front. When that snowball hit you, it exploded, right? Uh, yeah, and it hurt. Well, Sam, I think it's instant replay time. Let's say the snowball was a cold air mass and you were a warm air mass. When you both clashed together, a front was made and the ball burst. It snowed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this snowstorm is a result of a cold front. Cold fronts happen when a cold air mass pushes a warm air mass up. Big puffy clouds called cumulus clouds are formed. When you see dark clouds like those, you can bet you're in for some heavy rain, thunderstorms, or a snowstorm like this. What happens at a warm front? A warm front happens when a warm air mass catches up with a cold air mass and slowly climbs up and over it. As the warm air mass passes over the cold air, long, thin stratus clouds stretch out across the sky. A warm front can cause rain and snow too, but it's light and steady, not heavy and stormy like a cold front's weather. So a cold front means pretty crazy weather that gets me a snow day. And a warm front just means it might still rain or snow, but it won't be as intense. An air mass is a large body of air that has the same temperature and moisture throughout, and there are four types of air masses in the US. Each one has unique characteristics that hint at where it formed. When two of these air masses meet, they form a boundary called a front. It can be a warm front or a cold front, but either way, some kind of weather always happens on a front. Hey! Okay, okay, I deserved it. It's freezing, though. I think I'm gonna head in for some hot chocolate.